All right, today we're doing a test of our flat clear uh, on firearm applications. We're going to be using a professional strength non chlorinated and a chlorinated, uh, the chlorinated being much more acidic. So we're going to start out with the non chlorinated. This is our part, it's been flat cleared. Basically, this is going to test for the firearm industry. A lot of guys have been using brake cleaner to clean their guns. We want to make sure that our finish is going to hold up to it. So we'll start off with the non-chlorinated. Hose it down real good. We're going to let it sit on there for a few minutes. So far, I don't feel any, any lifting. It's not tacky. See, there's quite a bit on there. We're gonna try a take a corner of a PVC pipe. Wipe that off quick. And as you can see. We got no issues, flat clear is still flat, we got no rub marks, no lifting. Now we'll try chlorinated. Get that on there real good. And we'll try it again. Whew. That's some potent stuff. And again, uh, nothing. Didn't do anything to it. It's, uh, Just as good as it was. Let's try uh, the chlorinated again. Nothing, not even a dent. So, I guess it goes to show this flat clear that we're using is uh, durable enough and uh, you don't have to worry about what you clean your firearm with because I don't think you're going to find anything more uh, acidic than, than any of this. So basically uh, I think we're good to go. Whatever you decide to clean your gun with it shouldn't affect uh, our coatings.